Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. I want to come on here and talk about the whole April Jones and Little Fizz situation. They've definitely turned into a Dragon Ball T series on this channel. So if you guys don't know, it's been a bunch of mess that's been going on with these two. Besides the fact that they're fucking each other and uh, their connection is Omarion, okay? So what went down is this, okay? About four weeks ago, it came out, rumors, speculations, that April was cheating on Little Fizz. Fizz, this came out around the, you know, December 6th. And so April denied it. Little Fizz denied it. The guy that she's in the picture with kissing him, they were claiming it was for a music video. But if it was for a music video, then why did the rapper in that picture, his name is FBG Baby Goat, never heard of him until this drama. But he basically stated on his Instagram, he says, Main, keep my name out y'all's blogs and keep your bitches on a leash. Then he wrote Orange Mound shit, FBG. Not sure what Orange Mound is, but he has a cute little emoji to represent it, okay? So my thing is, if it's just, you know, copacetic and you guys are friends and this is for a rap video, why would he disrespect her by saying, keep your bitches on a leash? That kind of insinuates that he might be smashing or at least there's some type of relationship there between him and April, okay? So now fast forward the following week, Little Fizz decides to throw April Jones a surprise birthday party. He has his son there. He has her kids there. They got balloons, festivities, all came through to have a good damn time. Y'all go ahead and check out this video. All right, so you guys just saw that video of Little Fizz in April and her surprise birthday party. Everything seemed all good around, you know, the, the early part of December. But then we noticed, okay, the holiday seasons are, you know, upon us. And all the other couples on social media are wearing matching pajamas and shit. Everybody's wearing that black and red plaid, myself included. But we didn't see anything cutesy whoopsy from, you know, Tiny Fizzle Pop. Or April Jones. So at that point, people were like speculating, like, what's going on? Because, you know, for the most part, you can't keep April Jones off of social media. She's constantly bragging on Little Fizz's tiny fizzle pop. Wow. <laughs> we are. Never stop being. Why are y'all so mad? I'm getting the dick that I want. I love it. Oh my God, it's the best dick of my life. <laughs> it really genuinely is. I can't even be mad. I can't not be happy because I think the happiness comes from just being happy. 
And then, like, y'all trying to really, y'all trying to really make me mad. But I don't know how to be mad. I'm not a mad person. <laughs> I don't know how to be mad. I think I just live my life, and I just don't know how to be mad. I have great friends, the friends that are my best friends. And it's just so amazing to be able to have a dick to suck on. It's amazing <laughs> to be able to fucking have a clit to be able to lick on, you know? And it's, you know, you, you get to be able to just be grown enough to accept those things and not to be petty. And then you wish the best for the friends that you have and you just want them to be happy because it's like you get satisfaction from being able to just like have the best stick of your life. So for me, you guys, you have to like just live your life. Stop being so mad and just live with me. Live. What you listen to? <laughs> you guys got to just stop being so mean. Y'all don't even know the full story and y'all still be judging. I don't judge. So it's like, why haven't these two been seen together in weeks, you know, since the party? So, you know, the internet sleuths, they started doing some investigating and they went to go search on Instagram if Little Fizz and April were following each other. And surprise, surprise, Little Fizz and April have both unfollowed each other and allegedly blocked each other on social media as well. Well, as we all know in this day and age, a follow means everything, okay? If you unfollow somebody, that means that you're not fooling with them. You don't want to see their post. You no longer consider them a friend, yada, yada, yada. So it's, it's very serious on social media when you choose to publicly unfollow somebody. So at that point, everybody was like, you know what? This is confirmation. They broken up. That's it. That's all. We knew this would happen. She's stupid. She did all this just for, you know, them to go their separate ways. So I wanted to wait to see what April Jones would say because I knew she'd be coming out sooner or later. Um, so this is a video that she posted today. And basically, she's trying to show the world that she's unbothered and she still can't dance. Go ahead and check this out. <laughs> <laughs> all right so you guys just saw april jones's video so as of now neither one of them have spoken out or spoken about the situation but like i said april's definitely trying to make it look like she's unbothered and she's gonna keep doing her you know, it's sad that they went through all of this, you know, fought for their love, even with arguing with Meek Mill in the damn shade room because everybody has something to say about their relationship. At the end of the day, they're grown. They can do what they want to do. They can smash who they want to smash. But the relationship was trifling, period, point blank. You know, this was Omarion's band member. You're his baby's mother. Certain lines you just don't cross. And I think the pressure and people having so many opinions, especially for the negative and people in the industry looking at their relationship in the negative, I think it caused a strain on their relationship. That's one of my thoughts. But I also feel like April Jones, Little Fizz, you know, they would do anything for a storyline on Love and Hip Hop. And what better way to keep your names in the blogs? What better way to keep a storyline up than to, you know, let's both unfollow each other so that way we can trend. You know, that way our names will come back on the blogs since ain't nobody been checking for us since the surprise party. You know, these celebrities, they pull a lot of bullshit, especially these Z-list celebrities. They pull a lot of just BS. They'll do anything to trend, anything to go viral. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. But I would not be shocked if this was all some type of publicity stunt with them unfollowing each other and then they'll come back you know a month or two and say oh we work things out we're back together we're in love we're engaged you know some fugazi bullshit okay just sit watch and sip slow so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation honey concerning april jones and little fizz on following each other and people speculating that it's because of um april jones cheating with baby goat but with Baby Goat, I think that's his, honey, I don't even got time to go back and look for his name. The guy with the goat in his name, 
you know, goes back to that. People are thinking that's the cause of their breakup. And I feel like that could be the cause of their breakup. But then I also feel like they could be doing this for attention and for a storyline on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. And last but not least, don't forget to hit the notification bell. So that way you can be down with the notification squad. So let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation, honey. Once again, concerning April and Fizz, a.k.a. Tiny Fizzle Pop. All right, deuces.